remarkable season of medical innovation, physicians with the Advent Health Heart, Lung, and Vascular Institute performed three groundbreaking procedures, making significant advancements in patient care. These firsts represent a leap forward in the treatment of cardiovascular conditions for residents of Central Florida. We're fortunate enough to be joined by one of the doctors who helped make these procedures possible. Dr. Nashad Sheikh, electrophysiologist and EP medical director, led the inaugural pulse field ablation procedure in Central Florida, a promising new treatment for atrial fibrillation patients. It's a safer, more efficient approach than traditional methods that use heat, which can damage surrounding tissues. So let's learn more about this incredible groundbreaking cardiovascular procedure. Welcome, Dr. Sheikh. Thank you very much, Anna. Thank you for having me on the show. You know, we were talking a little earlier, and one thing that you shared is all cardiologists aren't created equal. So can you share a little bit about that? That's correct. I mean, cardiologists, uh, uh, you know, even when a patient wants to see a cardiologist, they usually see a general cardiologist who sort of takes care of all your needs. And within cardiology itself, there is a variety of subspecialists, for example, if a person had a heart attack and they needed to have a stent placed to deal with the coronary artery disease, those are called interventional cardiologists. Okay. If you had an electrical problem of the heart and if you needed to be treated for a condition like we were here to discuss today called atrial fibrillation, you see a cardiac electrophysiologist. If you have problems with you needed a transplant, you see a transplant specialist or a heart failure specialist. So there are a variety of subspecialists within the underneath. whole cardi underneath cardiology. Okay. So we hear a lot about AFib. I mean, you can hardly turn on the television without seeing a commercial talking about mm -hmm. AFib. What is that? Well, it, it, atrial fibrillation is the commonest electrical problem of the heart. So as an electrician of the heart, I deal with electrical problems of the heart. So what does that mean? The heart has four chambers, and this is a pump. A pump needs power. We all have natural pacemakers in the heart. That's how God's built us with. Now, in addition to your heart beating at a normal rate, your heart can beat faster for a variety of reasons. Um, you had too much coffee or certain medications, or you could be having arrhythmias of the heart that are causing your palpitations. So when the heart is irregular, beating in an uh, uncoordinated manner, and we see that on an EKG, and that's when we diagnose with patients having atrial fibrillation. Okay, so, so when the heart is not beating the way it should, there's little hic hiccups, if you will. Correct. So is, is that why this procedure is so groundbreaking? Can it like head this off at the pass? So atrial fibrillation is the commonest epidemic uh, we expect it to five, affect a significant number of patients over the next 10 to 20 years. And why is that? Why are we seeing patients uh, or people who have more symptoms of atrial fibrillation or develop atrial fibrillation? We are living longer, Okay. certain unhealthy lifestyle choices, and we are paying a price for that. And 50% uh, of the people who have these symptoms don't know they have atrial fibrillation. The other 50% know. Like, what are the symptoms? You feel dizzy, you feel fatigue. Uh, you feel lightheaded or you present as a stroke. Uh, we see a lot of people these days, uh, you know, uh, uh, healthy people even wearing Fitbits or wearing smartwatches, mm -hmm. and they suddenly see that the heart rate is irregular. It's about 150, 160, 200 beats a minute. They come see a cardiologist. What should it be? It can be anything depending upon your age. Normal. Normal can be anywhere from 70 to 110 to 120. So if you're at 150, 160, 60, you right. need to pay attention. You need to go see your cardiologist and have evaluated was this normal okay. or do you have an arrhythmia of the heart or do you have an electrical problem of the heart that is being caused by a certain reason. So let's talk about this procedure. Mm -hmm. Pulse field ablation. First of all, what is ablation? Correct. So atrial fibrillation can become symptomatic. And once you've been diagnosed by your cardiologist, and if you, the first thing about the treatment for this is prevention of stroke. So you need to get on a blood thinner. There are a variety of blood thinners if you meet that criteria. Second, if you fail a medication or you do not wish to take medications, you consider an ablation. What is an ablation? Ablation is a procedure where we go in, it's a minimally invasive procedure, where we go into the heart and we cauterize the areas of the heart, cauterize or burn that area of the heart that is causing the electrical problem. Okay. Over the years, for the last 15, 20 years, it used to be heat. 
It used to be cold. There are two ways you could freeze it. What does it this procedure do? And what it does, it destroys the tissue that is causing the electrical problem. So pulse field ablation. I want to make sure we get this mm -hmm. in time. What does that allow you to do that you weren't able to yeah. do before? So this is a game changer. What this allows us to do is do these procedures more safer, more faster, with and, and better outcomes compared to the previous available ways of treating them. And this procedure, it's safe in the sense that it does not affect the surrounding other tissues or other structures in the area. So the safety and efficacy of this, or the safety or, and the outcomes of this procedure has been so far proven to be really much better. Who is a candidate for this? Anybody who is symptomatic from atrial fibrillation, who does not wish to take medication for a long-term period, and there are a variety host of other, but this is the most common indication. If you have developed symptoms from atrial fibrillation, you should discuss with your cardiologist and then subsequently see an electrician for consideration of false field ablation. So you're an electrician of the heart? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So um, this procedure, why is it so groundbreaking? This is unique because, uh, now this procedure has been around in the oncology world for years. They would treat cancer patients with this, where they would go in and zap that effectively, just taking out the tumor tissue. Okay. Similarly, if you went in with patients with atrial fibrillation, we would just destroy that tissue that was causing the problem, leaving everything else intact. So this is a huge game changer for, uh, in, in, for those patients who are seeking uh, option for ablation. Uh, for atrial fibrillation. And you would find out if that is something that's uh, right for whatever's going on with you by asking your primary care physician who would then refer to a cardiologist? Yes, ma'am. So if you do have uh, symptoms of palpitations, your primary care physician would see you first, they would send you a cardiologist, your cardiologist would do the necessary workup that is needed for appropriate for your age, and then refer you to a specialist, electrical specialist, to see if you're a candidate for any other further treatments. And you said non-invasive. Mm -hmm. How is that possible? Not in, when I mean minimally invasive. Minimally invasive. So what that means is that this does not involve opening up your chest. A lot of people think that, you know, we have to crack open the chest to do an ablation. These ablations are done through tiny tubes that are placed through your groin into your heart. The procedure is being done usually inside an hour, and you go home in about two or three hours in 99% of the cases. Wow. We, this is a good time to be alive in medical science. It certainly has more options, and yes, we've <laughs> well, thank got... thank you for being on the leading edge of that. How exciting. Thank you, Dr. Sheikh. Thank you very much. We will be back right after this. Thank you.